What's up everyone? Welcome back to another VBAQW guide. Today we're going to be showing you how to get the Great Blade of the Entwined Eclipses, which is what we have equipped now. They're super cool. It is the most recent 51% uh, damage boost sword in the game. And let's get into how to do this. So first thing you want to do is slash join Temple Shrine. Once you're here, you want to go to I know Miko, go to her daily quests and accept all three of them. What you will be doing is you'll be stepping into this left room here, completing the dungeon there, going to the right room here, completing the dungeon. After completing those two, you go to the merge shop, get the right of ascension, go into the middle and complete the middle dungeon here. We're now going to cut to clips showing you how to optimally run each dungeon. Um, you know, some people might have other strategies, you guys might be used to different strategies, but these are the lineups that we used to run these dungeons the fastest for us. So, enjoy those videos. Alright everyone, so for the first dungeon, which is the left dungeon, we're running Legion Rev with uh, Arcanus Concerto. We have a Lord of Order, Archfiend, and a Void High Lord with Dauntless that is potted up. Let's do it. So, first things first, you kill the fatherless deer. You mean the faithless deer? Oh no, the fatherless. Fatherless deer. It's fatherless deer. Get a fucking grip, Raj. You go on the ferry. Next room, everyone goes on the haze. No one has to taunt it if people are actually doing damage and doing their job. But, just in case, because most of the time you could be in a pub, it'll say you gaze into the moon. When that text fades, the Legion Revenant wants to taunt that, but we don't have to worry about that. And then you kill the fatherless deer. Once again, on the haze. And Legion Revenant should bring taunt scrolls for this, because... You know, in case yeah, you don't want to get stunned, but also for the final room with the boss. Legion Revenant wants to taunt the moon converges. So that will show you here. So, once you're on the hollow midnight, just make sure the LR hits a quick taunt and it says moon converges, as you'll soon see. Boom, taunt that, and yeah. That is all there is to the first dungeon. Super easy. Really easy dungeon. And yeah, you just gotta do this one however many times. Uh, you can do it over the course of a bunch of dailies, or you can do it like 150 times in a row. But yes, we will then move on to showing you how to do the right dungeon. Alright, for the right dungeon, we're using the same Lord of Order Legion Revenant as per usual, but I'm on Quantum Chronomancer and Desolate here is on uh, Cooldown Night. Uh, we're just going to be nuking the shit out of the mobs in the first two rooms. So, yeah, um, I'm potted up with Battle and Fate, and Desolate has Sage and Malevolence, so does Raj. Uh, let's do this shit. I'm also going to be using Honor Pots as will Desolate. We're going to be starting on the Dying Light, he's going to then switch to the Shining Star, and I'm going to stay on the Dying Light here. There you go, he just nuked the Shining Star, and the Dying Light should die. Next room, we're going to start on the Dawn Knight, and he's going to switch to the Shining Star once again. Cool. Next room, gonna start on the Dying Light. He's gonna switch to the Dawn Knight. Cool. And now, for the boss room, Legion Rev's gonna taunt. We're gonna make sure we're all healed up. Buff and go. Rev's gonna taunt this, Sun Converges, nice. 
and me and the CDK are just gonna continue to nuke it. Boom, and there you go, that's how you do the right dungeon super fast. We will next show you how to do the middle dungeon. All right, this is middle dungeon on Lord of Order. We'll go on the fallen star first. And when it says the sky begins to burn, you want to switch to the deer. Set up a running here. Is Dragon of Time. <laughs> yeah, Fatherless Deer. Dragon of Time, Lord of Order, and Arch Paladin. When it says Moonlight protects you, you can go back to the star. And sky burns, but Moonlight protects you. For this next room, you're going to target the elemental first. I'll show you in a second. Um, there's going to be two taunts being used by Legion Revenant and Arch Paladin. Arch Paladin's going to get the first Light Gathers, and Legion Revenant's going to get the second. But when Light Gathers, uh, to keep the AP alive, I time my 5 with it, and I'm now going to look at his health. He loses a chunk. I'm going to heal him right here. Hopefully he lives. So AP taunted the first one, and Legion Rev gets the second one. After the suffocated light dies, you go on the fairy, the imprisoned fairy, that is. Fatherless deers and imprisoned fairies, gotta be two of my favorite things. Next room, everyone but Lord of Order, goes on the sunset night, Lord of Order goes on the moon haze. Uh, Lord of Order needs to taunt, I'll show you how here. Gaze into the moon appears, as soon as that text fades, I'm gonna taunt, so I take the stun for the team. And in their side, um, they taunt once the sunlight thing fades. So that one of them gets the heat radiates and not everyone. So you see there, I got stunned. I'm gonna wait for Gaze Into the Moon to fade again. If it even does, looks like we're gonna kill it beforehand. So, nice. Next room, two bosses. Lord of Order and Arch Paladin on the uh, midnight and Dragon of Time and LR on the Solstice. And we're going, right? Cool. Dragon of Time and uh, Lord of Order have first taunts, so when it says, uh, I'll show you here. This is like re react reaction taunting. Moonlight converges, the moon converges, I taunt, sun converges, DOT taunts. Next up is Raj and Desolate. So this isn't me, but this is Raj, and this is Desolate. And the next time we see the moon converges, it's going to be me. So boom. And what's happening in the background here is our Dragon of Time is switching between the bosses, balancing the HP the best of his ability. That's Raj's taunt there, and I've got the next one. And after the next one, we should be good. Moon converges, taunt that. And there you have it, folks. Lord of Order, Legion Revenant, Arch Paladin, and Dragon of Time for the third dungeon. Thank you. All right, now that you all know how to kill the bosses and run the three dungeons relatively optimally with the strategies that we used, you can Head back to the Temple Shrine. And once you're here, um, we can now show you how to successfully merge the Great Blade and Entwined Eclipses, which is what I have here. Of course, remember to do the daily quests here, um, and I will show you how many you need of each. You will need 155 Sliver of Moonlights. 155 sliver of sunlights and 155 ecliptic offerings meaning you can either you know do that in dailies or that would take you uh, i think it was 30 something days or you can supplement because each run of the dungeon gives you one whereas the daily quest gives you three so what we did was we did them almost every day but also did some spamming of left right and the middle dungeon so once you have your 155 of each, head into the merge shop, and what we're looking here for is the Great Blade of the Entwined Eclipses. We'll start with the Blade of the Bound Eclipse, which requires the Burning Sun, Glowing Moon, Umbra, Brand, and Ecliptic Offering. So, 
For the blade of the burning sun and glowing moon, we need a solar brand and the slivers of sunlight and moonlight and the lunar brand. So, solar brand for five, lunar brand for five, umbra brand requires both of these. So you merge the lunar brand and the solar brand, and then you merge your umbra brand. And then what you do is you go into your account manager, go to your buyback, it'll be on this side, and you buy back the um, solar and lunar brand. Relog, come back into the game, merge your blade of the burning sun, blade of the glowing moon, and then you can merge your uh, blade of the bound eclipse. Next, you need the Great Blade of the Midnight Sun and the Great Blade of the Solstice Moon. So once again, go into your account manager, buy back, buy back your Blade of the Glowing Moon, buy back, buy back your Blade of the Burning Sun, merge these two, and then there you go. You can get your Great Blade of the Entwined Eclipses, the most recent 51% down boost weapon. Enjoy. That's what we have equipped, equipped here. It's uh, pretty cool. Uh, we just have it on show right now, but yeah, thanks for watching. Goodbye. Goodbye.